I'ma drink a lot of Hennessy to pass the time I'ma get that money just to make me feel alive I'm getting high, don't you waste my time Do you really care about my feelings, don't you lie? Yeah, I'm alright, I'ma drink a lot of Hennessy to pass the time What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Yama from The Common Hype and I'm here with Drew. Wow, it's me. Drew. Drew, Drew. Right. come out. Oh, wow. oh. <laughs> Background just wait. Anyways, we'll get to the fit check. Yeah, we'll get to the fit check in a minute. You guys just saw the B-roll of the Bound by Soul hats. I have one of them on. Drew has the other one on. Bryson has the other one on. So it's the three amigos. Just remember, Today, 12 p.m. PST, October 1st, we are dropping all three colorways, limited to, after friends and family, 92 of each? 92 of each colorway. We are not dropping these again. I know we restock our Japan tees and stuff. These are hats that we won't restock. You guys missed out on the Suns colorway one in the past. We didn't restock those. And I'm telling you right now, we are not going to restock these. So if you guys want them, be sure to grab them because they will fly quickly. Again, 12 p.m. PST. In this video, you guys are gonna see a lot of resale advice. So be sure you watch the entire video. Be sure to like this video, guys. It really helps the channel. And subscribe to the channel uh -huh. because we're almost at 100k and, and drop a comment because uh -huh. we respond to every single comment even though it might be delayed because we're really backed up on comments uh -huh. right now there it is and what else and that's all you on your personals yeah yeah, yeah. follow the personals plug those. yeah yeah anyways how's it going hi tommy fit check me real quick right really step out today oh. thanks to bry of course <laughs> got the bulls vintage t on that is because of my dad's closet and bryson's closet i got the gray cargos on right here and then i busted out the unc threes you guys told me in the past video to just keep them for the toe i couldn't resist i couldn't resist and then of course i got the unc carolina blue bound by give him a soul spin. give him a spin oh the green wow. hits the green yes, hits wow. and the old english font drew give it to him the green hits Drew, right. come out. Oh, wow. uh, <laughs> background just wait. You know, I got the Fear God tee on from Bryson's closet. <laughs> right. All right. And then I got the Kobe swap meet pants on. You know, a little vintage pickup. And then you, you know what it is. Shout out to Johnson for these. I lost them. You guys will see. I'll tell you the story you later. Oh, well, yeah. Lose is a relative term. All right. I got them stolen. So shout out to Johnson. He blessed me with another pair of the, fo the woke up like these 2000s and a pair of my networking 4000s. All right. I think I got that wrong actually. Yeah. But it is what it is. All right. Wrong so way. thank you again, Johnson. And uh, the phone runners are back. You guys wow. want to see what's on the head. It's the nice olive with like a copper orangish touch. And they had to do the eagle. You wow. know what I'm saying? Grabbing the B because that's how we do it. And then on the back, the nice little old English hit. Pretty clean. If you see the details on the inside too. Wow. If you guys want this, DM me. I'll sell you one for 150 bucks. Back door, hit my DMs. All right, get me, get me. All get right, me. all right, get you. All right, I got you. Come on. Started up top, right? Found by Soul Hat. We got the taupe in the mint colorway, turquoise, whatever you want to call it. Japanese side on the back. Common hype, old English. You know, you got the B up front, nice and clean. Take a girl out on a nice date wearing this one. All right. Yeah. I got the vintage Nike Polo. Oh. You see the center swoosh on the back? Yeah, you see it. It's stitched in the back. Little little front zip. All right. Wow. You want to show a little more? Yeah. Bring it down. All right. A little modest. All right. Bring it up. All right. I like to be right in between. I am on the edge a little bit. Yeah, he's edgy. Uh, bring it down. I don't know if it's going to pick up in the light, Drew. Can you get the pants in the light? Do you see oh, the yeah. details? You can see the details. Oh my gosh. We got my we got my girl right here, just to the left of the crotch right here. Stussy double knee pants, workers pants, super gas. <laughs> And then I just got the mochas on. I had to bust them out. It's just, it's you just don't wear those boys. often, bro. I don't. But it's coming in the winter, in the fall. You guys can get a pair of these. Comment at And we'll get in the rest of the video. All right, boys. So we just dropped the mesh shorts. I kind of want to show you guys the amount of people that are on the website and stuff because I feel like it's kind of cool to see as a viewer. So right now, there's 145 people on the website. It's 11.58 a.m. The shorts drop at noon. But if you guys are part of our text club and our exclusive VIP club on our email list and everything, you guys actually get the link two minutes earlier than everybody else, which allows you guys to check out earlier, of course. So that's pretty cool. Shopify's taking a fat poop right now so hopefully everything pops up but again we have 181 visitors on the website right now 17 active carts 21 people checking out if this thing oh gosh hold on boys go to shipping, go to shipping. i am but you go you got to get out of shopify bro it's just taking a shit. well why is my shopify taking a i don't know it's the whole thing's not loading are you in it hold on hold on common high merch hold on yep 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 on it on it this is live, guys. You guys are seeing this live. Mesh short, done. Save. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, then. All right perfect. Like orders, so okay. okay, got it. We have 216 people on the website right now. Zoom in, Nate. Zoom in. 
216, 28 active carts right now, 31 people checking out and six people I've already purchased. So again, thank you guys for all the support and love. It's been absolutely real lately. 436 people on the website now, over 98 carts and 128 people checking out right now. Holy cow, 49 people I've already purchased. Oh my gosh, and this number just keeps increasing. This is insane right now. Nate, we got people in store checking out too? Yep. Let's go. Oh my gosh, the orders keep going up. Can we have 500 people on the website right now? Nate, you checking out some people in store right now? Sure. Wow, what's up? What's up? Michael, thank you. Wow, the whole gang. I like the sign. Hey, the sign, you know something about the sign. Can we have 500 people? We're so close, 500 people on the website. Holy cow, absolutely insane. Thank you guys for all the love and support. This is absolutely, this is incredible, man. All right, so today's the next day after our mesh short drop. And as you guys can see, I mean, we just have hundreds of orders for the drop. These are all the empty shipping labels and then all the shorts again, they come pre-packaged with size tags. So um, all over the floor right here, both USPS and UPS going out today. So again, thank you guys for all the support. Um, we have a lot more orders to go, so gotta get through it. But again, this is what we have to do. We gotta come in early, make sure we get all the shipments out from uh, the orders on the previous night and then get them out to you guys as quickly as possible. So again, just wanted to say thank you guys for all the support. All right guys, so we got some unboxings today. Ignore the fit and everything. We were shipping out orders all morning for you guys on the mesh short drop. Again, just want to thank you guys for all the support with that. Uh, but we got some unboxings to do. So let's see what we have today. This one is from Cassie. She said, Common Knife AZ, thank you for purchasing. And we got some off-white lot dunks here. I know a bunch of you guys have been asking about the off-white lot dunks. We're close. We're close to completing one through 50, uh, but here's six. I haven't had six actually in a while, size 11. If you guys need this, make sure to check out the website, commonhypeaz.com. This is from the homie Vic over at Good Chef. So Vic said he uh, hit me up ahead of time, said, hey, I got something coming for you guys. So kind of interested to see what it is. Wow. A Chicago Bull Scotty Pippen Bear Brick right here. 100% and 400% Bear Brick. So I've never had a Bear Brick before. Vic, I don't know what, made you want to send this but let's see what it looks like he knows i love the bulls that's for sure all right so you got the scotty pippen bear brick so this is the 400 percent figure and this is the 100 percent figure these are these are pretty cool vic well, do you know the story behind this or no uh he said you guys always wear the epic clothing stuff and uh he thought it looked good in the shop so fire well vic thank you i appreciate that but yeah huge shout out to vic thank you very much man that that's awesome that's an awesome gift we're just buying them all up guys christmas is around the corner we have to uh, this is from TK Kicks. Hello guys, thanks for supporting. Shake my hand, keep up the great work. Love how you guys support everybody no matter how big the business is. This is a base size for the ladies. Size seven, lot nine right here. So size seven, lot nine. That's a pretty fire colorway right there. Again, you guys can find it online at commonhypeasy.com. If it's not there, probably sold. This is from a guy named Cummings. It says, my name is John, we had a deal on Discord. Uh, for two pairs of seafoam, so I got a size nine and nine and a half seafoam right now. I still personally think that the seafoams are undervalued. Um, you can still get them for uh, pretty cheap, so not a bad investment idea right now. But shout out to that guy. This is from the homie Naz. Looks like a pair of Jordan 1 Lows in the, wow, Starfish Jordan 1 Lows. Lightly used it looks like, so um, didn't leave a note. So I have no idea how to pay him. We got a big one right here. Nate and I got some checking to do. Shout out to the homie off the lace. 20 pairs of off-white dunks, Nate. 20 pairs. And not just any colors. You, can the camera get that? Can you wow. focus? 48. The overseas pairs. Overseas pairs. This is lot 48 with the purple lace and the blue tongue. Another four, no, this is 47. 47? These are nice, Nate. These are nice. It looks like we have mostly high 40s and then we have some 30s as well. This is lot 45, Nate, with the red. What do you think? That's a good pair. That's not a bad pair right there. Lot 45, as you guys will notice, the overseas pairs have these like Nike Asian hang tags. Um, that's just cause that's where they obviously originated from. I think they only released overseas if I, I believe, right? The 40s were Asian, so. 40s 40 were Asian, so yeah, they're gonna have those, that Asian Nike tag. Um, and then 
I'm not sure if this is the rest of the box because I know I know I ordered some other lots, so let's see. And then we got one more box right here. Another pair of off-white lot dunks. Lot 12, size 10 and a half. So uh, love all the way from Oahu. Remember, you guys can sell to us in our server. Um, link will be in the description down below. And uh, we pay you on arrival, make sure everything's legit, and then you get paid. All right, boys and girls, it's Wednesday in the shop, nice. right? Wednesday. Wednesday. We've got a little package here. We pre-opened it just to take a peek. We're a little nosy, all right? All right. Uh, um, let's read the note. A little sick, so don't mind me. Hello, Comma Hype team. Exclamation point? Exclamation mark. All right. It's not a point, it's a mark. It's a point. It's a mark. I, you know. Exclamation. Potato, mark. potato. Potato, potato. Okay. Tomato, tomato. All right. Bryson, Bryson Eminem. All, all right. right. <laughs> all right. Congrats on your one year anniversary. I recently started making rugs wall decor pieces, and also have your videos playing while I work. To say thank you for your awesome content you guys put out, and congratulations on your one year anniversary. Thank you. I made a co I made a custom common height piece. I hope you can find the perfect spot for it in the shop. Enjoy. Brandon, should I read his IG? We gotta read his IG, some promo. Come on. IG, real deal rugs. All right. On Instagram. You know, go support the boy. Peep it. What do you think it's gonna be, Brad? Do we have any idea? I think it's gonna be that. Really? Maybe, it looks pretty It looks, long. I don't know. I see some lettering. I don't I'm know. I'm seeing some common hype. I do. Maybe it just says hype or common. Doesn't look know. that big. Maybe. <laughs> Were you looking for a second piece? Yeah, I was looking. Maybe it was a two piece or, you know, yeah. I don't know. Classic. Wow, that's gangster. Oh, it's the CH hat logo. That is that sick. That is pretty gangster. I'm not going to lie. That wow. makes it well on camera, too. That makes it a little too well. Should I lay on it and see what's going on? All right. All right. Ooh, nice and soft. How is it? Pretty comfortable, not gonna lie. Material's great. It smells pretty good too, I'm not gonna lie. Overall. Does it pass the sniff test? Ooh, yeah. yeah. I'd get a solid 9.4 out of 10. All right. Yeah. So we're gonna find a spot for this in the shop, boys and girls. Maybe we bring it home. Ooh. It's gonna get dirty here. Where are we gonna put it? I don't know. Use it as a doormat? Ooh. Let everyone know we live there? Yeah, yeah. definitely tell everybody. Our address is, we'll leave it in the comments below. Pretty sweet. Uh, shout out to Real Deal Rugs again. Thank you for the little piece. That's this will definitely fire. go to great use. Maybe you guys will see it in the house tour. Every comment on Instagram, every comment on YouTube, when's the house tour, when's the house tour? I don't know. I don't know, yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you. I wish I could tell you. Yeah. Let's ask Brandon. Brandon would know. We gotta get everything set up still, so we're gonna put this in the, maybe put this in the house. I don't wanna put it here and get kind of dirty. We wanna keep that forever. Yeah, we're gonna keep it forever. Maybe we'll we can always get another one from Real Deal Rugs. Real Deal Rugs <laughs> on Instagram. Pop tag. Pop tag. Not giving it Oh, come on. Come on. No, phone. Oh, no. Just keep doing it. Oh. Every time I do it, just, can I do fire on my hands? <laughs> can you be like Nate Shots editor? I just, I just say whatever I want and then it just comes out? No. Fire. Explosion. <laughs> Car crash. No? <laughs> Alright. Oh, look. Nice little card. Oh, there's his Instagram right yeah, there. Yeah, there's his there's Instagram. There's your pop tag right Boom. there, baby. Nice. Don't forget to tag him, alright? You guys love this one. That's for sure. You got the note first, though. Uh -oh. It's in cursive. I can't read that. Oh, uh, it's a little tough. Please. Pleasure doing business. <laughs> Keep up the great content. Congrats on the one year anniversary. Thank you. No payment information or name though, so. Baby Studio Shorts, you guys know what it is. Double XL2. Wow. I'll take those. As you guys know. Where can we shop those, bro? CommonHypeAZ.com 24 7, or you can come see us in store during the week, Monday through Saturday, 12 to 7, Sunday, 12 to 5. <sighs> But we won't, we're not here on Sundays, so no, if you want to see us, just don't come on Sundays. You can see Nate and Bean though on Sundays. All right. On to the next one. Our boy Elijah in uh, Bakersfield, California. All right. Oh. A blank white bucket hat, huh? I don't know if I should put that on my head, but you know. That's all right. It is what it is. We got a note. Thanks for the solid business. You're welcome. Look how big the exclamation mark is. Wow, yeah. exclamation point huge. Yeah, huge. Anyway, for real, for real, y'all are such an inspiration and watching you guys help me get out of a really bad place after I got scammed for 500 bucks when I first started reselling. Listen, we're gonna shake it because we've all got scammed at least one point, right, Brian? Tell them what happened to this weekend. Oh, speaking of scam, you got scammed for 500, all right? I was in San Jose over the weekend, you know, going to visit some friends from my old town in Fremont, California. So I was out there visiting because my boy just got back from Afghanistan. He was serving our country. Thank you for everyone that serves our country. Could not be me. Could not be Bryson, so for the, the you guys that do it, we appreciate that. You know, we were out having drinks, having dinner, networking a little bit, and I got back to the car, and the glass broke. And in the back of the car was my suitcase with uh, my foam runners, my networking 2000 black and white dunks, my effing clothing, one of one Kanye tee that we got early, Brandon. 
that I never got to wear. That Bryson never got to wear. So Evan, if you're seeing this, please print us one. I'll pay for it because I feel bad. <laughs> um, all my all my common hype merch was gone, and they stole my backpack with my AirPods, my laptop, my Tommy Hilfiger shoes. Like, oh, who needs those? And my car keys. All right. So. And your car was not there. And that wasn't my car. Yeah. That was my friend's car. So they broke into the car, stole all my luggage, like two grand worth of stuff. So listen, we're in this one together, buddy. All right, <laughs> shake it. By the way, let's finish now. Thank you for for what you do for the community. Also, the bucket has for Drew, but I don't know if it'll fit his big ass head. <laughs> it fits. Oh, it does. All right. I was gonna ask why you had the bucket hat on. Yeah. You want it? No, it's yours. All right. Keep it going. Elijah Dot Kicks. P.S. Congrats on the one year, and I know y'all probably won't do it, but I was wondering if you could have a reference on my shoe page. Unfortunately, Elijah, we don't do references, but you, you, just got, got, you got a free promo. Yeah. I'll send you the hundred dollar invoice for that one. All right. <laughs> all right. Let's see what Elijah sent us. Very proper packaging. Some would say too good. Some would say not good enough. What shoe? What shoe? What are we guessing? Ooh, Jordan one. Starfish. Wait. Let's look at the box. Ooh. Or neutral gray. I'm gonna go neutral gray. Size 10 starfish. 10 and a half I for the gentlemen. Well, ladies. All right. Can if you you're, if your lady's got it size 10 and a half man foot, these are for her. Yeah. That's going to be the last of the boxings. Brandon, do you have to say anything to the people? Down to my girl 209 Thrifts. You guys have seen her before. Kobe Swap Me video sent me some more rings. You know I love the rings. I don't have any But you paid. Chains. I did. You should, She sent us a she bunch of free stuff. She sent us free stuff, and I liked it so much. Like, I'm a, we'll be honest. Anything you guys send us, we might not wear. But if we do like it and we want more, we're going to show you guys the support and Listen, the love back. So the camera over here. Um, send me an invoice, maybe send me a couple with an invoice because I lost mine and I really like them. They were in the car. Yeah, they were. Well, two, two of them were. So that was the only jewelry I did lose. Mm, pretty sick, huh? Smells like a carpet. Look, I don't know what we're gonna title this video. I wanted to do something kind of like how to, how to start your own reselling business, how to start your own sneaker store type thing. First of all, thank you guys so much for the support. We would not have, be having these issues right now if it wasn't for all the support. Opening a sneaker store is not just opening a store with a bunch of pairs and then just selling them through the store. Like there's so much to it. And I know some stores are like that and there's nothing wrong with that, but here at Common Hype, we have huge aspirations and we always like to think way long-term, like five, 10 years down the road. And right now we're in a position that we're really outgrowing the space that we're currently in right now. As you guys know, we've been here for a year. We signed an 18 monthly, so it's coming up to an end here and we're trying to figure out what the best decision is going forward for our company and kind of the massive amount of growth that we've been experiencing. So one thing we tried to do, and I, I know a bunch of store owners watch these videos, so hopefully you guys can take some advice from this, but one thing we're trying to do is just blow up content on every single social media platform. So right now we're working to get more Snapchat stuff going on. So basically we wanna repurpose all of our content to hit those Snapchat, Facebook, TikTok platform, um, even maybe some YouTube stuff that we can kind of do and make, and make cool. As you guys saw from the one year anniversary video, Bryson absolutely killed it with those kind of flashbacks from kind of how the store started and when we first opened the store and everything. And there was a lot of like, it's it, it, it really hits you, you know what I mean? And I think, I know a lot of you guys gain a lot of valuable content from this channel and that's what we wanna do. We wanna provide you guys that free content to kind of help you guys start your own reselling businesses and such. So we're trying to expand and reach all these other platforms. So Snapchat, Facebook, Common Hype on all these platforms, TikTok too. We want to, we really just want to make content for you guys so you guys can basically follow us on each and every different platform but that there is. But each platform will also have different kind of content. Exactly. So like Snapchat, we might be chilling in the house, posting Ooh. a couple snaps, all right? Yeah, see what we do on our days off. We don't take days off, actually. No. But when we're home. But I'll leave all the links to, or at least the names of our social medias on our other platforms down below if you guys want to go check them out. Snapchat, TikTok, Facebook, um, YouTube, Instagram, you guys maybe even here. Twitch. Maybe even Twitch. You, if you guys follow us on Instagram, you know that Drew made a flyer for some Call of Duty. We had, ended up playing Call of Duty uh, Cold War. We played some League play with some of you guys, which was really, really fun. So we want to branch out to the gaming world as well. So we just want to branch out and do anything that involves you guys. You know, last night we played with a couple subscribers. They absolutely loved it. Made their nights. We got so many messages saying how much they appreciate it. It's just fun for us. It Especially on our off time to play with you guys and kind of take a break kind of away from the store. Yeah. yeah, just kind of chill and hang out with you guys and play with you guys, learn about you guys. Like we, Yoshi, yeah, the boy Yoshi has a cool story. He said he, you know, went through a lot. Now he started off his soccer foundation and stuff. So it's cool to, you know, talk to you guys, chop it up, and just play. But yeah, just adding on to all that, it's just I think it's really important that we kind of try and do our best to dominate all the content stuff because again, for us, it's not really just about buying and selling in store. We want to create a huge brand. We want to create something that when people think of shoes, they want to come to Common Hype, especially in the online space. Of course, there's a lot of big players out there, and we don't have, you know, 
that much capital as, as the big guys do. But we want to make it so where you guys can always come and support us, which you guys have been showing a huge amount of love. Um, but even just trying to make merch for you guys. We're getting hit with so many delays right now because people can't fulfill our orders. So we're even thinking about bringing it in-house and just doing everything ourselves with our own screen print, with our own embroidery, with our own possibly direct-to-garment machines, like all that stuff. But all that costs a lot of money too. So again, running a sneaker store and everything, it's not just about buying and selling shoes. When you're trying to create a brand, when you're trying to be create like this global nationwide brand, there's a lot of work that goes behind the scenes. How can we repurpose content for Facebook and Snapchat so the people that are on Facebook and Snapchat all the time can see Comet Hype and then also join the support and join the wave of us. So um, yeah, that's just kind of some things that I was, I've been thinking about and we've been trying to emphasize here as of recently, especially going to the holiday season where people spend the most online all the time. So anything else to add boys? I think something important about having a store is like you just mentioned, we just had our one year, you guys know we just had our one year anniversary. A lot of people get comfortable once they hit um, kind of certain points in their businesses. And we've done well our first year, a lot better than I think we thought we were gonna do. Not to say we didn't believe in ourselves, but just the growth, you can't really predict the growth that we've had um, in the last year. And it's okay to be comfortable. Some people make their living and they get comfortable with that and that's fine. But we, along with a lot of other people, we wanna see how far we can go. We wanna see how big we can take this. We know right now that we're just at the surface of what we're actually gonna end up in five years, 10 years, whatever it is down the road. Um, and so part of that is just always thinking ahead and just always thinking of new stuff to do. Like how can you make your company better? Um, and I know a lot of other people, and this is not to dog on anyone, but getting comfortable can sometimes be dangerous because you never really know what's gonna happen next. Um, you know, sneakers could die tomorrow. And if that were the case, we've, we've set up different things to where, let's say shoes st stop selling, we have other avenues we can do because we're always looking to do new stuff and progress in different areas. Um, and we've gotten really good at sneakers. And one thing to focus on is get really good at one thing, put your focus in that one thing. And once you get really good at it and it can maintain itself, uh, a little better without you having to put 100% of your attention into it, then you can start branching off. I see a lot of people want to do 10 things at a time, and so they'll put 100% of their energy in 10 different things, and so everything's getting 10% energy, and everything's gonna grow at a much slower pace. So if you can focus on a few things at a time, get really good at those things, then you can move on to the next thing. But I feel like people try and take on too much at one time, and it makes it a lot harder for their company to grow because certain areas just aren't getting the attention they need. And that's problems that we've ran into um, we were putting, you know, kind of half-ass effort into YouTube when we first started. We post, started posting twice a week, and now look where we are. You know, it's really even eight months to six months later because yeah. we didn't get that serious on YouTube right when we opened the store. It took us a while, but we had to get the store under our feet. Once we got the store running, then we were able to progress into YouTube. So we got good at the store, then we moved on to the next thing. And we have bits and pieces of that, kind of the progression through, which is kind of what those flashbacks were in the last video. Um, but I think it's important to put the focus in the stuff that you feel is the most important and then try and branch on other things. And I think you can attest to that because there's a lot of stuff. He has great ideas all the time. Drew has great ideas, I have great ideas, Tommy has great ideas. We all have all this stuff we want to do, but we know that there's a time for it. And so trying to attack too much at one time. Well, going back to the cool. podcast thing, like we could start a podcast right now. We yeah, could do it really well. We've been talking about it for six months. But we, we just, just we don't have the resources to do it yet. We don't have the perfect setup that we want to do for it. And plus we're still trying to focus so much on the things we, that we know we're good at. So that way when we do start the podcast, it really just flows easily. And we're not having to direct too much time at, to it. You know, um, I know Drew has experience with podcasts, so does Tommy and stuff. So we know once it does happen, it'll flow easily into what we want to do. But there's too many different moving parts right now. Right now, we simply just don't have the space um, or the time to do it as of right now, but in the future, we will. That goes along with the Twitch streams. And right now, we're just, again, we're just trying to build a lot of content right now for all these different other platforms so we can continue to build what we have um, and, and really just, just kill the game. And we feel like we've really done that well. Um, and I know a lot of you guys have, have kind of looked up to us in a sense, but I mean, again, we really are an open book when it comes to a lot of things. And this is something that's where, if you guys can really focus your time and energy, especially store owners watching this, you can build your own brand around the store to where people really just wanna come see you, they wanna support you, you make pieces of merch and stuff and people are like, you know, I'm gonna do that because I really wanna support you guys and I really like you guys. That's where you truly build a brand and that's where you create those lifelong customers. And notice when we're talking about this, we haven't really even talked about shoes that much because there's so much more to the business than just the sneakers. And I think that's a point, you know, you guys should notice. Go watch back what we just said. We barely talked about actually flipping shoes because honestly, that's the easiest part about it. But it's like, who are you gonna sell the shoes to? Where are your customers coming from? How are you gonna go get them? That's the hard part in this business. And I think that a lot of people that just wanna open sneaker stores, think about that. And I'm not saying don't do that or do that. 
you know, do what you guys want to do. But this is just advice for you guys going into it. You have all the shoes to open the store. You have the store, you have the capital to do it. But how are you going to get the customers? How are you going to get people to walk in the door and consistently support you? A lot of our customers are repeat customers. We know a lot of customers by name now, you know, and they come back to us because we give them good customer service. You know, we give them fair pricing. We try and price our shoes as, as fair as we can, considering our overhead and all the other variables that a lot of you guys won't notice sometimes just as consumers, but um, anyone in, in the business world will understand some of those things. So the point, the point really is just like, we, there's always new things we're learning every day. There's uh, different don't, things with don't our email. Mark. Yeah, don't get comfortable. We're learning new things every day. I even, on the website, like I learn a new thing every day and I try to fix it. Brandon every day learns something new. It's just like, it's gonna keep going and keep developing as we grow, so. And as that happens, we're gonna need more people to bring onto our team to be able to go execute that, those type of things. So we can still focus on what we can do to grow the business and everything. So yeah, just kind of a little snippet for you guys, because I know you guys like this kind of stuff, but again, it's important that you guys stay focused um, especially if you guys are watching this you guys are just getting into reselling get really good at what you can get really good at and don't try and focus on too many avenues without really truly just building your brand creating those lifelong customers within your brand whether you're an individual reseller or whether you're a store owner and then after you do that skill that endlessly as much as possible and then kind of branch out when you have the time and really the manpower to do everything else one so, last thing one last thing mm -hmm. I think this is important if you're not good at something find someone that's good at it I feel like it's more worth it sometimes to just find someone that's good at it, that's willing to do it, than for you to try and do everything yourself because you can't do everything yourself, right? Brandon can't build a website. I don't. I can't build a website. Could we learn? Yeah, but is that the best value? Is that the best use of our time? No, it's not. Drew already knows how to do it. Drew's been doing it for a long time. That's why Drew takes on the role. And Drew takes initiative, you know? If our website, if he doesn't like it, he'll be like, I'm gonna redo our website. I can make it better. And he goes out of his way to do that. No one's ever said, hey, our website's not looking good. Our websites look good since day one. You know, so find people that want to build your brand with you, that take initiative to want to make the brand better. For example, cards. We didn't really know anything about cards, but we have an entire card company, if you guys don't know, Common Breaks. Mm -hmm. And Brandon's obviously not the best at that. So Tony and Nick run Common Breaks, and Brandon's still part of the company, and we always promote it for you guys. But we're not, our expertise is not cards. It's not what we do. But we found people that are passionate about cards, that are passionate about the business that we're in, you know, and that are passionate about what we're doing right now as a company in itself. And so they're willing to take on the role of doing common breaks three, four times a week going live, you know? And I think that's important too. Just like with editing the video, I could edit the videos myself, but they'd be sh like it, yeah. would just be, it would be bad. But that's why in the beginning, when you guys first see the YouTube channel, that's why I hired Bryson. That's why I said, hey, do this with me. Let's get into it. All of a sudden the store idea came up between the three of us and then, you know, kind of here we are. But again, someone who's really good in that space who really knows his stuff why would i go out of the way especially you know you're like okay well i have to pay my photographer over in north carolina 400 500 bucks pay him the 500 bucks think about the long-term value of the business and if you guys create content and that content continues to get views it continues to get new subscribers new followers whatever that is that's only going to accelerate your brand and people are so scared in this business to invest in their in their selves for whatever reason, I'm not sure why. I mean, the videos, again, people are like, oh, Bryson deserves more, Bryson, you know, does this, this, and he absolutely does, you know? And when the business is capable of doing that, absolutely the business will take care of him. But at the same time too, you have to hire someone who really believes in the company and who really wants to grow with you guys. And that's really the toughest part about this. You know, if Bryson wasn't my brother, I mean, again, Bryson could probably be making six figures plus a year doing stuff for different companies but he chose to be here because he sees the growth in the company finding something like that difficult but when you do you have to hold on tight to that and let that guy do his thing and that's why Bryce is good at what he does hold me tight yeah. hold me hold me <laughs> that's it that's take some value from that get your notepads out I, I know someone the other day yeah posted a story he was watching our resale oh, yeah. advice he had a notepad out yep that guy's going somewhere. That guy's going somewhere. In yeah. fact, I know him. He's in Tucson. Drew was taking notes too. Yeah. He's going somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Not college, no. but somewhere. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Thank you guys for the little segment. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let us know. Drop a comment if you took any value from that. If you didn't, maybe we'll try again next time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. So another day in the shop. You guys, you guys know how it is. My boy Hassan's here. Everybody say what's up to Hassan. What's going on, y'all? Listen, Hassan mentioned something to me. He said it was his birthday coming up. He said he asked for a specific shoe. He asked for a pair of Jordan 1 Lowe's, actually. And... Oh, dead ass. He... <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was coming here to cash them out. I did not know this was happening. He, uh... Oh, you are. You're still paying me 500 <laughs> <laughs> This whole game on the sneaker stuff, like, it's all built on relationships, right? And Hassan's been not only supporting us from day one, but he's also been cashing me out for the past, like, two or three years now. Um, not only that, but Hassan's... He's my Habibi, you know, he's my, he's my brother. Habibi, um, it's a Habibi thing. But Hassan just, he's just one of those guys that you want to have in your life because he's one of the most trustworthy guys out there. He's one of the most hardworking guys we know and he just simply is, 
He's funny. Yeah. yeah, we like hanging out with him. Anyways, he asked if we had a size 10 and a half starfish. I said, yes, we do. He's like, all right, I'll be there to cash him out. So we held him for him, but he thought he was going to cash him out. But this is really my gift on behalf of everybody from Calvin Hype to you wild, for your birthday. Bro. So um, we make sure they fit. You Damn, I honestly wasn't expecting that. I was expecting to be on a video or no, nothing. Or no, dude, I thought I was just going to come through and cash him out today. No, absolutely. Appreciate Happy you birthday to you, bro. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you. You don't bro. get enough stuff done for you. He works his ass off over there so at Arizona Milk. So. Shake my hand, bro. Um, so yeah, enjoy them. Yes, sir. Honestly, I've been hitting them up at these. I'm not even gonna lie. Just I love Jordan One Lows. They're good dailies. You know what I mean. So I don't up my highs. Yeah, this orange colorway is fire. If I see those posted on future reference <laughs> for five hundred dollars, we're gonna have an issue. Okay. Hey, four fifty. Hit me. <laughs> yeah. Like Brand was saying though, I mean Hassan, we've been doing good business with him for a while. I mean, Superior wanted, but. Um, business is all about relationships. You guys saw earlier in this video, I think it was the last clip we just talked about a lot of advice that we've given you guys and stuff that we've done ourselves, um, growing our, our page and our business, our store. Um, it's all about relationships. So you always want to keep relationships like that, especially when you have bulk buyers and stuff and other people, other store owners, even if they're not doing direct business with you, just being um, in good connects and having good business with other people. Um, it's really important and it goes a long way. Um, we do a lot of business with Hassan, like Brandon said, he buys a lot from us. Um, and we do our best to supply his store as best we can um, whenever he needs anything. So having those good relationships is just a small token of our appreciation for Hassan and um, all that stuff. So make sure you guys are taking care of the people that are taking care of you and um, even the people that support you. Even if Hassan wasn't coming in and spending money with us, um, we'd be just as appreciative because like you guys have seen him in our one year video, a bunch of other videos in the past. We've had videos just around his cash outs. He's shown us a lot of love in the past. So thank you for all the love, bro. We appreciate, man, appreciate you. appreciate y'all. See, this is something that like, I really f with common hype. It's like, man, not everybody's genuine the way they are. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think I'm a genuine person, and it's hard to find other people like that. So just doing business with common hype, you can just, with the way you, you interact with somebody, you can just see how they are as a person, how, as people. You know what I mean? The whole team is just great here. Um, I even enjoy cashing them out. Like, it's fun. You know what I mean? It's not just business. <laughs> we have fun, guys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was really wasn't even expecting these today. I thought I was coming through to cash out. I didn't even tell them my birthday was coming up. I don't even know how they remembered. They surprised me, so I appreciate that. Shop Common Hype 25 eight. There it is. So, we're going to start off this unboxing segment real quick with a letter. Now, I accidentally pre-opened this letter just because I was wondering who sent us a letter. But... Um, I ended up reading it before we actually got on camera and this is something that's uh, it's really cool So let me go ahead and read this note to you guys It says dear Brandon. My name is Aryan Patel and I attend Hallsville High School I'm a sophomore and participate in Hallsville student leadership class I was given the task to someone I admire and that is you Brandon I admire you because of what you've built whenever I hear shake my hand That just reminds me of all of the accomplish accomplishments you have made through common hype and good chefs You have built an empire of successful entrepreneurs Although I'm not in good chefs, your advice through the YouTube videos has made me more successful through my reselling journey. I now have a couple of shoes that have doubled and tripled in price with your advice. I also add, I also admire you because of not only staying in one market, meaning that you stretch your opportunity from shoes through common breaks by selling sports cards and selling PS5s. You have many sources to lean on. This is what I admire about you. Sincere, sincerely, Aryan Patel, shake my hand. Um, Aryan, I know you're watching this. Uh, thank you. I mean, that really means a lot. Um, it looks like it was like, like a high school project type thing. I got chills. Yeah, I'm I mean, not gonna lie, I held back the tears a little bit. I mean, oh, I thought you were. Oh, I just was showing you my chills. Arian, uh, virtually shake my hand through. I mean, that's that re really means a lot, man. More than you know. This is something that might get hung up in the store. Something that might get hung up in my office. Um, but just kind of hearing that, um, it means a lot. So thank you. I really appreciate the kind words, man. Uh, hopefully you come out to Arizona soon to visit the store, um, chop it up with us a little bit. But thank you for the really kind note. That really means a lot to me. Really changing lives out here, Brandon. Okay. That was I serious. I mean, I mean, that wasn't a joke. I don't really see it as like changing, like you know. You what gotta mean? think I about how many people watch the YouTube, the advice you give them every day, and then the people like we we played with in COD the other night, or the kid that came in and gave us that sign. Us laughing, your advice, just all around everything changed people's lives. I just think the YouTube videos, like I don't, I don't realize it's the pure power entertainment of YouTube for people. Yeah, it is, but it also like. If you're going through some stuff, That's what I'm saying. or if you're just like sitting at home and you're just you watch to, these three idiots on the camera, yeah, you, you, you laugh. Yeah, you like, join in on the circus and watch the YouTube videos. I mean, it, it means a lot to people. Which I, it's something I have not actually like. I don't think you've grasped it exactly. And I think it's kind of starting to hit me finally after, especially the guy with the common hype sign. He said that you know that yeah. meant a lot to him and everything. It's just think about people getting our, the merch yes. too. It's like it's a lot for people that yes. want to represent us and support us. And well, it's a reason why did they get for just getting the merch? Yeah, and it's a reason why we go to all the events and stuff is because we want to see you guys. Because a lot of people do want to come see us and 
right. don't have the opportunity to travel. Right. So when we go locally to these events and stuff, we try to make everyone, it takes a toll on us. Especially Bryson having to flip around those videos real quickly and us being on you know, flights and going on red eyes and stuff, it, it takes a lot out of us. But um, yeah, it, that, that, that makes it worth it for sure. So it's the little thing. Yeah. Some might say it's the big things. Some might think I have a big thing. Anyway. All right, let's see what we got. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, we should. We should yeah. All right. there, that's yours, though. I think this so. is your personal pick. I think so, size 10. There you go, Bri. There it is. The present is finally complete. It's a long story. We're not getting into it. Just know that. <laughs> really not that long of a want, story. Yeah. It's actually pretty simple. I uh, gave Brandon a pair of Sakai's and he sold them and uh, shipped the tent. All right. Anyways, two pairs of Seafoams right here. Two under per. Shout out to my guy. Again, Seafoams. I think it's a really good investment. I don't think they hit during Christmas, though. I think they steadily grow up during next spring and next summer. So more of a long hold if you guys are interested in it. Um, Again, don't hold if you don't have the capital. If you get anything from this video, turn your money. Always turn your money. There's a bunch of things out there, and even myself, is I want to hold a bunch of these PS5s right here, as you guys can see. But when you can turn and flip them and buy into more and just keep rotating that profit, whereas if I buy a PS5 right now for $700 and I hold till Christmas and maybe they hit $800, $900, would I rather make $100 over the next three months on a hold, or would I rather make 50 60 70 bucks on this right now flip again and churn five more of those within the next three months. So that's kind of my philosophy behind this stuff. I'm not gonna take this PS5 out because it's kind of being a pain in the butt to open. But yeah, let's see what we got in here from the boy John. Oh, yep. My boy John Vigil in Good Chef sent us three digital PS5s right here. Shout out to the homie John for that. I think that was his as well. So picked up a bunch of PS5s from him. Thank you, John, again. Really appreciate that. Thank you guys, as always, for tuning in. Be sure to like the video, comment down below if you guys have not already. Subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 100K. I don't know what we're going to give away for 100K, but we're going to give away something crazy. Um, I told you guys that this video, we would do the off-white lot winners from the previous videos. We're going to do that next video just because we've been backed up on a bunch of stuff. But don't you worry, we'll, we will be picking the winners for that in the next video uh, from myself Bryson tell me Bryson behind the camera Louie with the broken shoulder over there thank you guys for always tuning into the challenge for showing immense amounts of love uh, we'll see you guys in the next video